This interview with Howard Morris, better known to the Andy Griffith Show fans as Ernest T. Bass, was done on June 26, 1998, in Kingsport, Tennessee, at the Mayberry and Meadowview event. Uh, you made five appearances on the Andy Griffith Show. As I was in said. five shows. Uh, and you also directed. You might want to just mention that. To I, directed, I directed a couple of dozen uh, Andy Griffith shows while I was doing Ernest T, too, sometimes. And you directed one? I directed on. one that I was on, and that's a weird feeling. Totally schizophrenic. That means two personalities. Um, you don't know whether you're the director or the actor or what. So I hired a guy to say action and cut. <laughs> your, your other shows, you did, uh, you did. T tell about some of the other work you did before the Andy Griffith show. That I'm sure oh, people I, I, I did the Dick Van Dyke show and the Bill Dana show. And uh, I, I did a lot of shows and several movies. This is directing. And I acted in a lot of different things, too. In fact, I, the first directing job I did was the Dick Van Dyke show. And Carl Reiner was responsible for that. He stuck his neck way out. Did uh, were the, was the writing as good on some of the other shows as it was the Andy Griffith show? Or well, the Dick Van Dyke show was was very bright and cheerful. Good show, good show. But um, the Andy Griffith show was the best. It really was for character and story and verbiage and everything was very clear and cheerful and straightforward. And it represented a time in our nation's history which is quite different from now. Did you get that? Yeah. Okay. Got That's important. And, uh, is there anything else you'd like to just look? Is there any question in particular that people ask you a lot? That you yeah, like would to you give me a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that one a lot? Yeah. Do you hear, uh, will you sign this rock and uh, things like All that? All the stuff I have to sign. The Lord's Prayer on the head of a pin, you know? <laughs> it's wild. That's uh, great. They bring me paper. They bring me toilet paper to write on. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Well, you'll see tomorrow night. They'll probably do you, be sitting out here somewhere with, with pictures. Do you enjoy that? I mean, do you enjoy still interacting? I with like the, the money. <laughs> <laughs> but is it is it fine still having people that know who you oh, are? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They interrupt you at wild times, <laughs> and you get used to it. You can kind of anticipate. Like I remember being out to lunch one day, this has had to be 20, 30 years ago, and I saw a guy shuffling, pulling out a, a pen and a piece of paper, and I said, hey, here we go, guys, get ready. And you're all set, and you know what you're going to be asked for. The guy can always say, excuse me, gentlemen, I hate to interrupt your vittles, but is that or is that not baked Alaska that you are eating? He never asked about who we were or anything. He didn't know. Just he was interested in the food. <laughs> and you could hear the air go out of us. <laughs> Got the kiss. <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for your time. I don't want to keep Okay, you, my pleasure. But uh, I really appreciate it. I lie it. about that. <laughs>